Hey guys, Matt here. So I just recently deployed my FortiMail VM and integrated it with my Forti Sandbox. And I just logged in this morning and took a look at some of my stats over here. And I got a little curious. I started looking at the legend up here and I saw, okay, FortiGuard anti-spam, cool. It's, you know, it's getting some spam. I was interested in this particular, uh, this particular color, content modification. Content modification is another term for that is content disarm and restore. So I've got some stuff coming through that's possibly malicious that FortiMail decided was a uh, good idea to protect myself from. Uh, so, you know, first thing I did is log into my inbox and I noticed that there is an email in here and I don't know this person, but how, how many times, you know, oh, look, it's, it's, it's my order and oh yeah, I can download it right here. Well, if you look at this, it says JavaScript void. So I'm going to, I'm going to go back and take a look as a systems admin and try to take a look and see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to monitor log mail event. And try to find that email. I think it's right here. And if you take a look, this is the message coming in, and this is each step of the way. Detachment filter. If we take a look at this particular log, detachment filter said, "Hey, you know, let's go ahead and remove the URIs for URI click protection." So apparently, the URI that was initially in there was a known bad URI. So let's go take a look and actually where, see where this in, ends up taking us. So if we go to monitor quarantine, we can take a look. And now it's not in the personal quarantine. So uh, no, I'm in the wrong domain. So it is in the personal quarantine. And it's this guy right here, right at 1345. Is that the correct time? Yes, that's our that's our email. So I could take a look at it here as the admin and take a look and see, okay, this is still safe. But if I click on re show remote content, this shows me, even at that, it's uh, it's been reconstructed. So I wonder where this has taken me. So even if your end user is hellbent on you know, releasing this particular email, you can go ahead and click on it. And if you notice, port mail click protection access blocked. So what we end up here is a classic content disarm and reconstruction. So yes, there's a, there's a malicious URL in there. I don't want my users clicking on it by mistake, thinking it's something they're entitled to. So I went ahead and enabled the policy to protect us against that. Uh, at any rate, Next topic will be along the lines of uh, having a binary submitted into Sandbox. Hope you've enjoyed this clip and you have a great day. To all the fathers out there, happy Father's Day.